Hello, and welcome to another Silent Hill game. This is Silent Hill The Short Message. And of course, if you want to receive a short message, the links and the details are down below in the description as usual, alright? So yeah, this is a free download out for the PS5. It's meant to be about two to three hours long. It's going to be a first-person experience as well, where we're going to be playing as that young woman there called Anita. I believe she's going to receive a series of short messages on her phone, leading her to a crumbling apartment block that we're going to need to explore. Looks like a lot of fun, and I certainly hope it is. If you think it is, leave this video a like. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Either way, though, I'm so psyched for this. A new Silent Hill game. It's been so long! If you don't count Ascension, which I'm not counting. So, yeah, let's start, shall we? Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me, Huh. Okay. Oh. Looks like someone died. I wonder who. Probably me. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Here we are. Right. So I suppose this is going to be our perspective through the game. First person Silent Hill game. That isn't PT. <laughs> I gotta say, it looks very nice. But wasn't I just Hmm. Oh, okay. Alright, it looks like we've got a couple of messages from Maya here. I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. Alright. So this is the villa? Huh. You know, usually when I hear the word villa, I expect a little more than this. Also, what's going on there? This isn't Silent Hill 4, the room, is it? <laughs> okay, let's see then. This way? Oh yeah, okay, cool. Alright. The city of no hope, eh? This model. Is it this building? Uh, yeah. I think you were kind of standing in that alcove down there, weren't you? Looking up. Alright. Well, there's something over here by the looks of it. The plan. Re oh, right. The plan to rebuild Kettenstadt. Okay, Kettenstadt, a town with a long history as a thriving border stronghold in recent years, those in their 20s have begun leaving en masse, causing concern. The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstadt and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstadt. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents <laughs> dreamed of this? Uh, maybe not this precisely. I I'm sure it looked better in its heyday. There's something down here as well. Alright. Plans to rebuild Kettenstadt have suffered yet another major setback, as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize, owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures, due to unfortunate external circumstances. Kettenstadt has struggled to bounce back, with increased unemployment. The City Council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. 
A slave to the system. Yeah, alright, alright. You can tell she's got a rather bleak outlook. That just opened by itself, did it? <laughs> oh my. Look at this. Where are you, Maya? Wow, okay. I heard you like graffiti, so I I got you all of it. Jeez, alright. No exit? Yeah, I believe it. Oh, hold on. What's in the fridge? Ah, flowers? Hmm. No exit. Yeah, I can see that. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Right, we've got a map here. Uh, it seems like a fairly big area. There's actually quite a few places to have a look at. I wonder if we'll be able to go into each and every one. Right. Uh, I don't suppose we'll be going up here, will we? No. What about down? No. Oh, great. It's locked. Hmm. Looks like there is one way to go, though. Down here. Oh, hang on. What's this? Uh, to all Villa residents, we've received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Hmm. Did I? <laughs> or did they? Alright. Looks like this is actually a jar already. Let's go in. Wow. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of spray can usage in here, as you can see. <laughs> Pretty good graffiti, though. Maya? Don't be manipulated. Believe in your senses. Alright. We'll repaint it all. Yeah. <laughs> I can see you've started. Alright. Let's see. Can I have a go? Are any of these full? I want to add my own tag. Oh, what's this? Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. Alright. That's Maya's signature. She's... Amazing. Hmm. Oh. The city's a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. Oh, it's live action, right. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. <sighs> How could I ever be proud of myself? Right, yeah, she's definitely got a very bleak outlook. Alright. So, yeah. Cherry blossoms as well. Is this is this going to be like a, a weird reference to, you know, the upcoming Silent Hill F, I wonder? Hang on. Is that a baby I hear? There's something down here first. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and a blank wall are all you need. In Kettenstadt, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is CB. Short, the cherry blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece, she had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside, but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls, she paints blue out of the scars that they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't mm. be more different. Dead end ahead. Right. Where's that coming from? Oh, it was the doll. It was the doll. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually spray paint down there. Right, let's let's see. Let's just get out of here, shall we? Okay. Well, let's continue. Hey, oh. Who's there? Oh, we've got some audio coming out of the controller here. I oh, hello. Amelie, right there. Amelie, you alright? You asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. 
didn't see you at your job yesterday. You still not feeling good? You taking your meds? Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can actually kind of get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm going to get up soon. <sighs> huh. That's a relief. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Down here? What is that? All over the walls. Oh, we're not going through there, obviously. Just loads of pieces of paper. Loads of, like, post-it notes. What's with this place? Are they all, like... Why all the sticky notes? They're all insults, aren't they? Loser! Stupid! Liar! Crazy! Cry, baby! Ugly! I hate you, dumb! Go away! She never said anything nice. Who are you talking about, exactly? Okay... Well, this is a strange place, isn't it? Right, okay, maybe there's actually something nice we can read? Child abuse neglect. No, I don't think so. <laughs> a recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kettenstadt last year was nearly double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. <sighs> My mom loved me. Wait, this is her? It, well, I, I don't know if she loved you. Not, not if this is her. Jeez. There's just so many. Even on the inside of the wardrobe? Man. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm dealing with quite a lot of trauma myself, aren't I? Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. Hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I think I've been through a lot. Hence, I'm in a game like this. Man, oh man. Okay. I... Oh. Alright. The bathroom? There's actually none in the bathroom, but there is blood. Oh dear. What is that? Is that a razor? Uh, oh boy. Uh, this is all your fault! Bad things happen because of you! I think I can see where this is going. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's not the first time. I'm sorry. Mom. Nice. Yeah, okay, let's leave that down there and yeah, let's let's leave that blood behind, shall we? Let's not do that again. Okay. Right. Let's just get out of here, shall we? Uh, oh. All right, hold on. We got another message. Uh, what about you, Anita? What? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. Ooh. They feel bad, you know? All of them. Mm. Not bad enough for me, apparently. Right, yeah, okay, so back around here. Alright. Yeah. Maya. Oh. Whoa. Oh dear. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what the... Okay. All right, we're getting chased. We're getting chased now. Fantastic, right. Wow, okay. This is looking quite otherworldly, isn't it? Okay, yeah, very rusty. Uh, around here? Through the door, come on. Okay. What's going on? I guess she's not familiar with the franchise. Oh. All right. I don't know, but it's probably good that I didn't get a good look at it. 
Did I get him? Okay, another message. Are you here? I'm in the studio. Maya? There's a monster here. Are you okay? No response. Hmm. Right. So we're in another apartment here. Uh, I don't know if this is really the time to read the newspaper, but we're going to do it. Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kettenstadt has become known for its suicide, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite repeat events, the building, abandoned ever since the development management company declared bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many continuing to enter it, and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local resident security concerns continue to grow. Please, not Maya too. She mm. has been acting weird lately. Right. Okay, let's see. Let's explore. Oh. Oh yeah. CB, another one of her works. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. No. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Hmm. No, oh, hang on. Why is she not replying? Come on! Maybe she's not around to reply. I have to find her. Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> Does that mean going back out into the corridor with that monster? I'm not really a fan, to be honest. Can we go this way? No? Hmm. What about through this door here? No. And there's nothing else for me to examine? Hmm, okay. I think we're just gonna have to get out of here. Huh. Okay. It's looking pretty normal again. That monster. It's gone, right? Seems like it. Where is the studio? Alright, well, let's have a little look around and see if we can find it. Something down here. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said that they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They also claim they experience anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Alright. So, yeah, this, uh, this is that building. We've got a long way to go. Wait, what's that? Oh, the famous suicide spot. Oh, right. Hence the flowers, I suppose. So, people took a tumble from all the way up there. Man, okay. Uh, let's see, is there anything else on this balcony? Alright, we can go back inside. Let's just see if there's anything else around the way here. Are we not going in here or anything? No? Nah, no, it doesn't seem like it. No, we need to find this studio, wherever it is. Okay. Right, so yeah, back this way. The trash room. It's locked. Never mind. What have we got here then? Again, looks locked. Padlocked. Yep, okay. This way. So many cans. Oh, creepy. Maya. I hope you're alright. This way. Oh, hold on. Okay. By the way, she says, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, 
once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way. I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you, I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I, I can't do anything. I don't know what I'd do if they got in. That's not true. You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? I guess I feel I'm never going to match up to her, so why bother? Emily doesn't get it. Nope. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. Mm -hmm. There's no way out. Well, let's not think like that. Let's keep searching. You never know. One of these doors might not be padlocked. One of these doors might not be locked up. Do not enter. Graffiti, unlawful occupation, and other acts will be reported to local authorities. I bet they will. CB. Oh, well, please tell me we can go in here. All right. Would you believe it? Another rundown apartment. Maya, are you here? Well, she was. Is this your studio? Could be. Okay, we're not looking at her artwork here. We're looking at her sketchbook, her schizenbook. Are these Maya's sketches? These yeah. aren't even finished. And they look this good. Alright. They seem happy. A new life. Hmm. So full of life. Oh, what was that? Okay, hang on. I'm getting another message, I think. Maya? Are you here? She asks. Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. But she doesn't. Why won't she reply? Where are you? Crazy. The controller is. <laughs> okay, and we're back. We're not going to take this with us or anything. Right, there must be something else around the studio. We did see a, a brief drawing of that in the sketchbook. I'm not seeing anything else, unfortunately. What about in here? Yeah, I don't think we can go inside. Right, if we can't go in there, let's... Oh, we can't leave? So what do we need to do? Oh, oh, that's another one. Hello, why was this hiding away? It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? <laughs> Even more followers. Followers again. Damn, this is depressing. This need for validation. It is, it's toxic. Some new followers here. I need to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sexy. Loving it. Stop with the boring photos already. No sexy stuff, no followers. Wow, 
Greet your followers. Oh, congrats on reaching your follower Come on. goal. We want sexy pics stop. already. Stop! Just stop! Please! It's tragic, really. No? Well, she's actually calling this time. She jumped from the villa. Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? Yep. Wait. Maya's really dead? So they were flowers for her. Uh, how? How could I forget that? Are you alright, Anita? <laughs> no. Hello? She's definitely not. But then if she's dead, who are the messages coming from? Then... Who's this? Right. Find it? Find it. Who... Hmm. Alright. Let's see, is the door going to be open now? Are we locked in still? We are not. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Okay, this looks pretty cool. All right, we're running again. We should probably be running. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, there's definitely something behind me. Oh, okay, right. We're going to the door. We're going to the door. Okay, this way. Always head to the left if you can. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm hearing a lot coming from my controller, and there is definitely something behind me. Okay. And here. And again. And. Uh, okay. Oh God, what the. Alright. Around here. Okay, we're sort of slipping in behind. Go, 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 go. Where am I? I don't know. Right, we're heading up the stairs. Get me off this floor. Wow, okay. <laughs> so is that Maya? Is that meant to be her? Another one of her artworks. Maya died. But her art lives on. Even more followers. Who cares? She's dead. No one is ever going to notice me. Oh, man. You just gotta get out of this mindset. It's not all about the numbers. This is where this is I you jumped know. from. Oh boy. Bad things happen because of you! Maybe I can be like her. Or well, maybe you could choose to do something better. Here goes. Don't do it. We got all those warnings for a reason, didn't we? Ah. Hmm. Is that it? Unfortunately, I very literally followed in your footsteps. And there you go. There's that warning again. Yeah. 
But yeah, genuinely, if you feel like this or if you know someone that feels a little bit like this, maybe they're struggling, maybe you're struggling, there's always someone to reach out to, all right? Try friends, family. There's hotlines like this one. Yeah, don't do not do what these characters are doing, all right? It's not the answer. Huh? Oh. It seems I didn't die, but that... That hole, that drawing, that's getting bigger. Get the, villa? the same room, I think, yeah. Just like the start. But why didn't I die? That I'm not so sure about. Maybe you were already dead. Oh, okay. My phone's fixed as well. You find it? She asks. Find what? Can't leave till you find it. Is this really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead. You're not her. Can't leave till you find it. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me! Hmm. She didn't reply, but I think I can guess what her reply would be. What the fuck? Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. That has changed, though. And it looks like it's kind of bleeding. Hmm. Right, so back through here, are we going to have a look at the uh, the little model, the book, the newspaper? Yeah, there it is. Oh no, uh, my battery. Oh, come on. It can actually get quite dark this game, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we find ourselves another light source. Okay. Right, so as I recall, we went through this door last time. And we do so again. Right. It's changed a little bit by the looks of it. I don't think that was written there before. What's this? Bad girl gets an empty empty light. Right. That'll be mum again. Hmm. Okay. We're not going up. We're not going down. I guess again we're heading this way. Is that the same one? I think it must be, right? What's this? It's all your fault? It's all your fault. Uh, <sighs> this is all your fault! Our bad things happen because of you! Yeah, well that's not true, is it? I know it's hard, but she's just got to see that. Okay, so again, we're going in here. Again, I suppose we're going to be having a look at her art pieces, right? So let's see, there was one on the wall over here. It's very dark. Is it still there? I don't know if it is, to be honest. What we got here, then? Ah! Oh. Right. Uh, what? Who would do this? Oh. Can I pick this up? No. I think I just heard something from back here. It's not the baby's head falling off again. Hmm. Right, okay, let's get out of here and let's keep exploring. Okay. In here? I don't think we came in here before, did we? Wow. You're a terrible, terrible thrower. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I think I saw some of these guys as I was running away from that monster in that chase sequence. Are they meant to represent, you know, the, the bullies? The people in the comments? Hmm. Right, this one as well. Wait, it's back on? Oh, ah, apparently it is. Uh, how could somebody do this? Your art sucks. Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. You think? Ooh. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> hey! Right. Uh, I wasn't actually expecting you to get so close. Right, can I 
Just mosey on by. Yeah, thanks. Wait, is there something over here? Oh, there is. What's this? Ah, children who turn trauma into tales. This is part two. All of the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences, and interestingly, all of them conceptualized those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself that she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother, and that her loving real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. <laughs> These convenient tales, in the face of extreme adversity, are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. That one sounds familiar, doesn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go out here, and we're gonna have a little look around. Is this the same balcony that I was on before? I think it is, isn't it? Right, yeah. So that was that was part one down there. Is it still part one? Or has that changed? Right. Yeah, yeah, this is this is what we read earlier. Okay. Oh? Alright. This is just like before. Yeah. We're in a loop. So you feeling okay, I ask? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So, is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please, tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. I wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So, Maya really is dead then, yeah? Anita, are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? Kinda. I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. Maya really didn't tell you anything? No. All she talked about was a book she'd read recently. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? Yeah. So what'd you think of the book? What book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Oh, wonderful. Is this her inspiration? Something beautiful from something tragic. No, I don't agree. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? No. I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Probably I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? Hmm. I actually kind of like that, though. Look at all those notes on the wall. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Yeah. Oh, okay. Letters. Right, yeah, letters. Where the hell did that come from? Was that in here? Right, so yeah, we're, we're, we're back here. Hold on, no? I don't think... I don't think we had access to this room before. No, this is all new. Ah, oh, hold on. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. Yeah? My great-grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they 
all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But not your own. Or she was a fraud. That's more likely, I think. Right. Is there something over to the left here as well? Okay, another book? Belief in the Witch of Kettenstadt. Those who believe in the Witch of Kettenstadt share many practices with modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is its slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there's one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth and prosperity, there was an exchange in cultural beliefs, giving rise to the belief in witches. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Right. Let's see. Can we get any of these drawers open? Nothing over there? No? Okay. I wonder if we've maybe got access to more rooms. Right, this one hasn't been defaced or anything. So, yeah, those guys on social media haven't got to it quite yet. Oh. If you want food, do what I say. Well, I think I want food. You want food? Do what I say! Oh, another book? In Japanese culture, there has long been a sense of beauty in sacrifice, with Harakiri killing oneself by slicing one's stomach, being a prime example. The idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore. Good! And the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one, where death is needed to protect that life. Right, okay. Let's see. I don't believe we're going to find anything else around here. Okay. This door remains shut though, unfortunately. Through here? Okay. Right. Well, I think we've got to go this way, haven't we? Let's see. Oh, the trash room? Ah, it's unlocked now. Surprise, surprise. Trash. <laughs> uh, and a book. This is all your fault. Everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend. My place in this world. All of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those shit stains art? You came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, and you know, so on and so forth. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak! Wow. Yeah. You know what? That actually does deserve to be in the trash. Is that- okay, that's moving. Um, can we have a look? What if- what if that's like a sack of kittens or something? Oh, okay, mm. Right. Is that all we're gonna find around here? I think that's all we're gonna find around here, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's leave. Okay, what about 207? Come on. We're getting the full tour of the place here. Right. Oh. It seems like the trash room has extended slightly. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshman. Willkommen zu Deutschland Medical University. Uh, founded in 1709, DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. So, September 24th, 2021. Mm-hmm. Wear a mask when attending, of course. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Oh, speaking of which, here she is. Hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? You seemed kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. Oh, right. Are you okay? Yeah. Just gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. So, shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. 
and nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Yeah. Carly's the only one who thinks that. <sighs> wow. Very sort of Jeff the Killer. That North River poster. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and town showing so much skin. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked mum why, but she wouldn't say. This is it. Test day tomorrow. Mum told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mum, but I know she loves me, and I love her. Mum, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both you and Dad. What else have we got? Uh-huh, okay. Looks like clothing from the 1700s, quite honestly, but yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Let's see... Okay, yeah, so just room by room. Looks like we've got another bedroom here with something else to have a look at. Another book. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mum and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. Alright, time to hit the books until morning. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. They were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better, but everything got cancelled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I couldn't see it happen. Even if things had worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city, where college life is waiting for me. Everything's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Yes, your brother. What exactly did he do? I'm quite concerned, honestly. Alright. Back out into the sort of dining area, the kitchen. Stay home alone. Stay home alone! Yeah, thanks, Mum. Hmm. Through here, then. Another bedroom. Oh, something over there. I got some materials from my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so, so happy. I still can't believe it. Mum, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. Mum and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out, even without that rebuilding plan? So this means that they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? Uh, no way! Don't leave me, Mum. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mum just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I, I want to disappear. But where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Only hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Yes. Alright. Looks like there's actually something through here as well. Young student found dead. Possible suicide. At around 10am on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of a Kettenstadt apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital, but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. Oh boy. No note or diary was found, but police still believe her death may be a suicide. Homily's not like this, though. Right? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. That's what we're gonna find in here? That's what we're gonna find in here, it seems. Okay, right. Yep. Um, we might be done. We might be done with this apartment. But yeah, now I, I really do have the question. Who the hell am I texting with? 
Okay, let's continue and let's see what we find. We were here before, weren't we? But we didn't go that way. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm suspicious, but curiosity's going to kill the cat, I think. Is this... <laughs> is this school? School? Apparently. <laughs> hang on, hang on. It won't open. Of course it won't. Okay, well, we're back to school then, aren't we? Alright. Seems like I'm the only one here. Which class do I have to attend? Do I have to attend any? Seems like I can't go through the doors. Do I have to find my locker, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. I'll go through there. No. I am hearing something through here, though. Alright. Hmm. Hey, guys. Oh. That's a bit harsh. Who's throwing a fucking shoe at me? <laughs> Probably someone else's Go shoe. Alright, alright. Bloody hell. Which? Ooh, okay. Excuse me, guys. Can I get through? No, I guess not. All right. Let's see. Maybe I can go here, or I don't know. Let Let's just get me out of this corridor, please. There's something over here. Oh, I see. This graffitied locker. Is this mine? The witch's locker. What the hell? Assholes. Get out, you freak! Slut! Your art's fucking You're weird. a freak! Cocky piece of shit! Whoa. Whoa. Wait, is this the trash room again? Oh. oh. Good on you for fighting back. Oh boy. Oh wow, look at all this. Okay, walking the gauntlet of insults by the looks of it. Get me out of this. Shut your whore mouth. Go fuck yourself. Ugly. They're all so much bigger than me, aren't they? Get out, you freak! I wonder if they are or if they're just making me feel small. Wow, look at this. <laughs> okay. Perfect. You're delusional. Dumb. Ugly. Yeah. Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. It's water off a duck's back. It's really hard to see where I'm going here, but if I just walk through the words, hopefully there's going to be a door. Maya's not a freak. She's my friend. It's all too much, isn't it? Okay, and we're back. Back in the school. Right. Okay. Are we done? I think we're done. Let's get out of here. Oh no. I don't know if, if there's someone behind me, someone in front of me. Don't run. I'm sorry, I think I've got to. Oh wow, look at all this. Look at all these notes, all these eyes. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. I'm heading back this way. It seems like I can't I can't run all that much sometimes. There we go. I think the phone's a little bit like the radio. When you hear more interference, she's closer, she's gaining on you. I think that's the idea. I think that's the gist. Okay, through here. Okay. Right, yep, past the lockers. Maybe through here? I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea where I'm going here. Oh boy. Okay, we're going this way. I think we're actually kind of heading back. Yeah, we're heading back. Are you gonna pick on me next? Okay, past those through here. Okay. 
What the fuck? Right, wait, 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 wait. Are we back to... We're back to the studio. Damn. Why are you chasing me? It's actually quite hard to navigate. Not again. Not again. What did I do to deserve this? Nothing. That's the tragedy of it all. Nothing. Find it, she says. Find what? Find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to find? <sighs> I don't know. Her notes, maybe? The book? What's this? Alright, she's got to calm down. But after she's calmed down, we can have a look at the book. I assume. Alright. How you feeling? Okay. You feeling good enough to examine? I haven't really been in a good mood since this morning. I tried to lose myself in my graffiti, but I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it's because Mum and I argued this morning. Probably not. We've clashed before. I've known for a long time we value different things. Is it because my classmates teased me? I doubt it. They don't know me. They're just taking their issues out on someone. It's got to be because I lost that special person and the hope he gave me, right? <sighs> Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this before. Young love? Hmm. Ah, oh, this has been defaced as well, unfortunately. Are we gonna take a look? Ah, oh, the sketchbook again? Okay. Let's see if there's any new sketches. This guy looks familiar. Does he? Hmm. They're hurt. Alright. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. That was the one on the roof, right? That was, like, presumably her last piece before she jumped. Amelie. Oh. Hmm? What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer, then. Time. You're always welcome. <laughs> I see. Maya only ever cared about Amelie. And not you. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. Hmm. Right. Okay, I think I'm beginning to understand this a little bit better. Alright. So, was that all we needed to see here? Can we move on now? Let's see. Do I have access into the... Nope, definitely not. <laughs> Do I have access out? No, we're not locked in. Oh, oh. The library. So, I'm back at school. Seems like we haven't escaped it yet. There's no beauty in any of this. Oh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. I borrowed that book you wanted. I finished it, so it's all yours. Right. I wrote my impressions in a letter. Read it when you get home, okay? Right, this letter. Where? Where is this letter? Maybe that's... 
Maybe that's what we need to find. Yeah, that's probably it. Where was it? That book. Hmm. Well, let's get searching, I suppose. It wasn't a physics textbook, was it? <laughs> it would probably elicit the same reaction. The Witch Hunt of Kettenstadt. In 1930s Germany, the town of Kettenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity. Behind that success, though, was supposedly a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and, myst and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs. She would come to be known as the Witch of the Far East and would be greatly respected by the German people. However, in 1947, the entrepreneurs suffered great losses. A large fire spread throughout their industrial parks, losing them the majority of their factories. The Witch of the Far East, who was hospitalized, jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself. The witch had been diagnosed with an unknown illness, and many believed the fires pushed her over the edge. Some citizens, however, claimed that a witch hunt was to blame. They argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party, who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for murder. There's no evidence to support this claim, but many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory. But the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death. Since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck is a result of the witch's curse. A witch's curse? Is that why I saw what I did before? Might have something to do with it, yeah. Modern eating habits? Another time, maybe. Right, this book could actually be anywhere. And I gotta say, I love the detail. It really does feel like a real library. These all do feel like real books. They're also, also very detailed and intricate. Okay, there is something over here. Looks like there's space for a book here. Ah. Wait, I think I know these. Ah. Oh, there's one in there. Ah. That'll be volume two. No way. Right. So, do we need to get to that locker and go and get that book? Let's see. Just want to make sure there's nothing else around here for me to examine, but that, that does seem to be the way of it. Hold on. Okay, the town cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for city slum? Kettenstadt continues to see a rapid decline in its population. The birth rate is at a mere 0.7, less than half of the German national average. Miscarriages are also at 31%, more than double the average. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers studying the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn in Kettenstadt. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town in the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed. Before her death, she's believed to have placed a curse on the town, stimming its growth. So, it is a curse. If you choose but to believe it. Why me? Why do I have to be cursed like this? Oh, hold on. My phone again. Maya, find it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Tell me! Is this your curse? Find it, she says. Find what in a place like this? Well, to be honest, I think I know what I need to find. I think it's that book, and I don't think it's here. Hold on. Okay, are we still... I think we're still in school here. I wish I could run a little bit more in this game. Uh, we only run when we need to run, it seems, when there's a monster chasing us. It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? She was so much more positive before. I've never seen Maya like that before. Yeah. Another message? Alright. Are you alright, Anita? You left me on read, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Uh, not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. 
and then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. Don't know about that. That's not true. Yeah, the environments in this game are really, really good. I think they're the standout for me. 209. <laughs> or not. Right. Where is that locker? Is it going to be one of these, or is it going to be in the next one? Maya's locker. No, it's not here. Oh. It wasn't here before, either. It's going to be in another one, then? Uh, there's one here. My locker. Why is it locked? Well, the clue's is in the name. Is there something I don't want to see? Probably. Okay, I... Hmm. Am I meant to know a code? I don't know the code. Hold on, something else over here. Ah, Holy ah! Smoker. There it is! Yes! It's just a novel. Wait a sec. Is there something more? <sighs> oh. What did I just get a vision Wait. of? Was that mine? Right, so we can't pick that up, we can't flick through its pages. Right, okay, let's just see if there's any others I can interact with. Mm, doesn't seem like it, and, and can we go through? No. No, okay, I think we're stuck here. Yeah, no prompts are coming up. Oh, one? Okay, one. Is one part of the code? Wait, there's a zero above the door. Right, there's a three. There is a three. Right, it's a four-digit code, though, isn't it? So hang on, is it something... Is it one, three, zero? Or one, three, something, zero? Or I, I, maybe I've missed one. Maybe I've missed one. Hold on. Uh, what? Liar. Hmm. Is it in that specific order as well? Hold on. So, because it's yellow spray paint for the A, maybe the one is is the third one? So hold on, we are, we're still missing one, aren't we? Right. Oh, there's a two! There's a two over there! The two's at the end, so hang on, what is this? Zero... Zero three zero three one two Is that it? I know what's inside. That is, okay. That was cool. I can't look away. Right. Ah, there it is at the bottom. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? I think it used to be, yeah. Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom. To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty, if only for a moment. Oh dear. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world, gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... 
people who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just me and you. From Maya. And that's that. That's what I, I didn't want to remember. That's what I, I, I didn't want to acknowledge. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. Right. But I just... Uh. Oh. Maya, you have everything. You're way more talented than me. So why? Why take Amelie from me? You acted like I wasn't even there. Uh. Amelie is my friend. She's mine. Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She she was taking Amelie away from me. Oh. She wouldn't pay attention to me. I see. <laughs> How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, right? Fuck's sake. Right. So yeah, there it is. Her call for help that was stolen away and ignored. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah. Bit of a guilty conscience, right? What does that say? It's all your fault. Well, not exactly, but I, I didn't I didn't help matters, did I? <sighs> right. It feels like we're done with the area. I think I've seen what I needed to see. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Yeah, we're not going back. We're uh, we're running. We are running. Okay, through here. But I don't know. Right. Okay, straight ahead. No, 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 no. Wow, my controller goes absolutely nuts when I'm close to her. Vibration, audio, it's just all over the place. Oh, look at all these. They're all photos now, aren't they? really like that, yeah. Okay. Wait, what are we doing here? Are we just sort of running in circles? Maybe I actually do need to go that way. Maybe I need to go the way that I, I, I saw her coming from. Through this door. Let's try it again. 212. Okay. Let's follow the light. I assume that's what we need to do. Follow the light. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Right. Uh, seems we're back to a school environment. I uh, don't think she's that far away. Okay, here we go. Oh shit! Okay, right, run, 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 run. Ah. I didn't run fast enough. Oh my! It's a cool-looking monster, honestly. Beautiful in its own way. Oh. Okay, right. Do we just have to try that bit again? Right, okay, yeah. Here we go again. Right, so she is going to be on the other side here, isn't she? Right, we need to run away. Okay. Down to the right. And again, we're just running in a circle. That's right, but I think I've lost her. I've run around her. There we go. Okay. I don't deserve to live! Oh boy, don't run, don't run, don't run. What am I doing? I'm running. And I keep running. Okay, where are we going? Oh, we're going, oh, we're going up to the top again. Was that our only choice? Maybe I didn't need to do that. All these notes up there, wow. Is this gonna go the same way, do you think? Me to find. 
Anita, what's up? I'm so sorry, Amelie. Maya died because I killed her. What are you talking about? You and Maya wrote letters to each other, right? Yeah, but then Maya jumped off the villa roof. Well, there was supposed to be one in the last book you had, too. What? That letter... That letter was a message for you. Well, why are you telling me this, Anita? I was jealous of Maya. I was afraid she'd take you away from me. My mom was right. I should never have been born. Shh. Whoa, wait, wait. Anita, calm down. There she is, about to make a daft decision yet again. Okay. <laughs> and again, if you need a reminder, there you go. All right. But it's not over quite yet? No. No, it's not. Maybe we need to do something different. Maybe we're not quite getting it yet. Oh. oh wow. Okay. Oh, we're here. This is the same room, but it does look different. I jumped off the building. Yeah, you did last time. It didn't work then either. Wow. That is going to turn into an actual hole, isn't it? Oh, oh. Huh? oh it's me. Even if I die, this doesn't end. Mm. How many times do I have to go through this? How much time you got? Oh, Maya again? Find it. How can I get you to forgive me? Please, Maya, tell me. Why won't you say anything? She just wants me to find it. Wow. You know, all these scratches, they look like sort of runes, don't they? My body's gone. But it's your fault. It's your fault. Yeah. Reminds me of my mother. I ended up heading to the roof of the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls killed themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now the place is a famous spot for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy. Were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? Maybe a little bit of both. But it doesn't really matter. It was the wrong choice. Right. This uh, this environment is leading me to suspect there's going to be a chase. But I don't know. Maybe not yet. It's like the two worlds are fusing. The other world has become my reality. It's kind of cool, actually. Alright, what's this? Don't you dare go outside. Don't you dare go outside! More of my mother's wisdom there. Right. I'm not going in there, I don't think. What about in 206? Come on. No hope. Oh boy. All these rather bleak messages. They're everywhere, aren't they? They're quite literally in this game. Over here. Okay, alright. What about the trash room? It's locked. Oh, okay, good. 207? No exit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Somewhere down here then. Come on. Again, no exit, no future. We're not going that way this time. We are going to have a look at this newspaper though. The Silent Hill Phenomenon. Go on then. The suicide rate has increased around the world, in large part due to the struggles brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, with countries still unsure how best to handle the issue. These trying times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. 
This has come to be known as the Silent Hill phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in an eponymous US town. The first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. XXX, Dr. Could it be Kaufman? No. Well, maybe not actually. A social psychologist at some university who had the following to say on the matter. To one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions. When in a state of high stress, one's vision may become obscured or tunneled, as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty or apprehension about the future manifests as fog, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Doctor Whoever calls for a rapid rebuilding of society, as well as a stronger emphasis on counselling and mental health care for the young. Well, that I can agree with. But I don't know if I like the idea of it being explained this way, with everyone knowing about it. 210. Let's see. Ah, no future, no exit. Yep, as advertised. I don't know why I'm even trying. <laughs> I guess I'm just being hopeful, really, aren't I? Oh. Right, let's just take a quick peek. No hope. No future. But here we are. This is... Where is this? Wait. Me and my mom lived here. Oh, oh! This is our living room. It looks a lot nicer than outside, I've got to say. Okay, 2011. I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Huh. Right, so what, what happened exactly? Is that her? Is that my mum? Is she here somewhere? No blood in the bathtub or on the walls or anything? No, not yet, at least. <laughs> it's a loop. This time with pizza. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? Did I get her the wrong order, maybe? Hmm. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realise he might join our family? She's slower than other kids her age. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. That's what you think. Yeah. The tragedy is, we all kind of turn into our parents at some point, don't we? <laughs> uh, right. Are we going to find anything over here? Can I slip into bed? No? Now's not really the time, is it? Am I shrinking, or is everything getting bigger? <laughs> I think I'm shrinking. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realise that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? He doesn't visit us as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Well, so she was she was trying to sort all this out for her new man. Uh, abusing me in the meantime. Oh? I'm giving up my life for you! Oh. Looks like we're doing it yet again. Oh, and this has become the trash room. Right. And uh, this is the bottle bank. Everything seems to be going well now that we've been going out on dates. 
He was worried about my kids, so he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. I got contacted by the Child Welfare Center. I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. You're done being a good mother. Oh. There's that crying that I heard earlier. So was that crying me? Stop. Right. Oh boy. What the hell? Hold on. That? Wait, that's coming from the fridge? Oh, jeez. Thought it was coming from the other room. Right, okay. Let's just ignore that and have a look at this instead. Miss Krista Planet, we've reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to receive a response. We take this to mean you have no intention of remedying this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631 Section 2. Accordingly, the Federal Court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher. And here we go, yet again. Are we... Oh, I don't think we're looping this time. Oh, wow. Right. So, this is where I was for a lot of my childhood, right? Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested. Oh, my brother. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him, and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime. Holy shit. You just me again. And now I'm locked in. Her. Let me out! So the monster's my mum. So sad. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Oh. I'm a curse. You always said you'd be better off without me. You're not my daughter. You're burden. A curse for my mother. Mother. You're wrong, Mom. I am your daughter. Yeah, whether you want me to be or not. And just like you, I'm cursed. Yes, it's so sad. Oh? Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. Well, that's probably why, honestly. Right, so is this what I had a look at earlier? It is, isn't it? Okay. We uh, we might need to go. Right. Jeez. 
So my brother was in there after he died. Ugh. I feel sorry for everyone involved, honestly. Oh, bloody hell. No, no. Oh, where are we going? Where the hell are we going? Oh, okay. It's opened up a bit, hasn't it? Alright. Oh, what's that? Okay. Okay, this is all lit up. What I we got? really like what you drew me way back. Oh. Oh man, I cannot see where I'm going. Oh, I cannot see what I'm doing here. Right. There's a chained up door. Are we looking for the chained up door? Oh, hold on. You're into art, right? All right. You could audit an art class. Ah, I, I think there's less. I think there's less chains on the door now. Right. Through here, maybe. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. The environments are absolutely stunning in this game. Right, we're going through here. Come on, come on. Door. Come on, through there. Oh, I have no idea where I'm going. Absolutely no idea where I'm going. This way, maybe? My phone just keeps on changing. 209. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was close. That was real close. Oh, bloody hell. What we got here? What are you hiding inside? Oh, there she is. Right. I'm just heading back. I'm heading back as best as I possibly can here. This way. This way. I'm choosing this way because I can actually kind of see where I'm going. Oh, look at these bullies. Wonderful. Through here. Okay. Where the hell am I going next? Okay, this way, maybe? Shit. Shit. This is just an absolute maze. Oh my god. Looks amazing, though. Oh boy. Oh? You're way too hard on yourself. Okay, there we go. The more of them I find, the, the, the less chains there are. Oh, wow. Okay, through here. Through here. I have no idea. Have we been here before? There's just so much laughing coming from my controller. Oh, man. Okay, it's a bit of a dead end here. We've actually got to go back this way, I think. Oh, no. Maybe not then. Maybe not right now. This way. goodness. I don't know where I'm going. I have no idea. Alright. We're going back through here. It, well, this is this is the apartment, right? This door? Let's go through here. Right. CB. Oh, there's, there's still a chain. I'm still... Oh, I'm... Right. I get it. I get it. Oh, my goodness. How the hell did I get away with that? Right. There is... I think there's at least one more thing I need to find somewhere. I have no idea where. Okay, this way. Did we go this way? I don't know if we went this way. Oh, okay. It just leads to the same hole in the wall. Oh, boy. Right. Okay, so I... I found the photo there. Where do I need to go? My controller is rumbling all over the shop as well. Through here, maybe? You've been through here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I'm getting stalked here. It's a big, big area. But there's, there's something more I need to find somewhere. I think that's kind of just like reset things. I don't know if that's like teleporting me around. There was something over there to the left that's lit up, but I, have I had a look at that? Oh, wait, no. Ah, now it's open. Now it's open. Oh. Okay. You like what you see? Right. That, that door that I tried to get through, that's where I need to go. Now, where, where is she? I want her to approach me, honestly, so I can go around her. But maybe she's not playing that game. 
Oh, okay. Alright, we're not going that way. I guess we're not going that way either. Okay, we, we might be quite restricted to where we can go. Oh boy. If she's in front of me, I'm in trouble. Around here. Right, we've got to get back to the apartment. We've got to get back to that door. Oh, there! This is it! This is it! And it takes us to the studio. Holy shit! Am I gonna be alone forever? Well, maybe being alone is better than being chased by that. Oh my goodness. That was hectic. I like the chase sequences, actually. Oh boy, okay. Right. <laughs> it's not the character that needs to calm down. It's me this time. I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair, because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this place. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it'll show up. The thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all this. Oh, and you were going to, but I didn't let it happen, did I? Alright, we're not taking a look at the sketchbook. We're not taking a look at that. Ooh. There is something down here, though. At approximately 1pm on the 12th, popular graffiti artist C.B. Maya Echo Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kettenstadt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but also to all those who are familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself half a year ago? Have we been doing this for six months? And that means... I've been here this whole time. I guess. Wow. What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. Ooh. The sketchbook? Alright, maybe we do have to take a look at it. Right, so again, let's go to the end. Let's see if there's any new ones. Is this... Ah. Me? Oh. Why did she draw this? Well, so she did care about you. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So... She did notice me. Yeah. It's not all bad, it's not all doom and gloom. Most of it is, I'll admit. But, yeah. Huh, okay. Anything else? Where are we leaving, once again? Do I want to leave? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay. My old toys, maybe? My old drawings. The beginning of my art career. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. Right. And we just walk on through it to... A school desk? I could have had a different life, too. I guess someone finally did love me. No. If only you'd realized sooner.
You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. What's this? Emily, what should I do? Well, candlelight is guiding us to the stairs. I think the stairs to the roof. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm right. This isn't the answer, though. Anita! What's up? I'm sorry, Amelie. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said. I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya... Both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita? Wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Calm down. Yeah. Just listen to me. I just... This isn't the way to apologize. Apologize by living a good life. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, all right. Let's go shopping tomorrow. We can talk, just the two of us. Tell each other everything that's on our minds. Don't go, Anita. Please, don't leave me. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Right. <laughs> and just like that, she stopped it. She kind of broke the loop. With a short message, right? <laughs> oh, I think my phone might be going again. Yeah. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward, and never look back to 18-year-old me. Okay. That's a, that's a more positive outlook. And that was actually the end of the game. That was Silent Hill, the short message, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. What did you think about this? I think this was a, a really pleasant surprise, honestly. I wasn't expecting this to come out. It was kind of stealth released. It's free. It lasted about two hours or so. It looked good. It sounded good. I liked the story. Uh, yeah, there's... There's not a great deal I, I didn't like about the game, honestly. The chase sequence is really good. I really like the environments. It's a, a gorgeous looking game, honestly. Um, Moving day. It feels kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. 
I have my best friend with me. So, you know, even after all the sadness and the tragedy, the guilt and the regret, she has changed her outlook a little bit. It's it's a bit more positive, and her friend actually changed her fate. It It's a pretty good ending, really, considering what we went through. And I wasn't expecting a good ending in this game. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, what was I saying before I was rudely interrupted by uh, another short message? Uh, Silent Hill, the short message. Yeah, I enjoyed it, overall. I think if this was the next main entry in the, in the series, I'd be disappointed because, you know, it, it, it doesn't really feel like a Silent Hill game in that way, and it's, you know, nowhere near as good as, like, 1, 2, 3, or 4, or maybe even some of the later entries, honestly. Uh, but looking at it as a sort of side project, um, yeah, looking at it as a, a sort of spin-off, as a first-person psychological horror game that's just trying to tell its story in a touching way. I think it succeeded really well, and I enjoy it looking at it from that perspective, you know? So yeah, overall, I enjoyed Silent Hill, The Short Message, and I hope you did as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Looks like someone died. I wonder who. Probably me. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I heard you like graffiti, so I, I got you all of it. Where's that coming from? Oh, it was the doll. Maybe there's actually something nice we can read? Child abuse neglect. No, I don't think so. <laughs> whoa. Oh dear. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Oh, damn. Okay, this looks pretty cool. And again. And... Okay. Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead. You're not her. Can't leave till you find it. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Wow. You're a terrible, terrible thrower. <laughs> That it was these guys. You think? Ooh. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> hey! I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Probably, I shouldn't have done that. Duff! Oh. That's a bit harsh. Who's throwing a fucking shoe at me? Wow, look at this. Right, okay, straight ahead. Oh, no, 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 didn't run fast enough. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? Hey, hey, hey. Did I get her the wrong order? Maybe? 209. Ah, oh, ah, ah! I get it. I get it. Oh my goodness, how the hell did I get away with that? It's not all bad. It's not all doom and gloom. Most of it is, I'll admit. 